if you look at the other things that were announced, they cost many tens of billions of pounds. And the thing that they reversed was two billion per year. So there is a if, if you were worried about the fiscal situation before they made this reversal, then I think you should still be worried about it right now. And of course, because of that, Mr. Kwarteng is going to bring forward the point at which he talks about and explains how they're going to get debt levels falling as a proportion of GDP over the medium term. They're going to bring that forward, it sounds, from the 23rd of November to, uh, to earlier. It would be very helpful, of course, if we had that before the Bank of England meeting on November the 3rd, because, of course, it would give them a much better idea of what the government's plans are. So uh, look out for something earlier than they originally uh, suggested. George, obviously now steps are being taken to try and calm market nerves here. And we do have a programme going forward uh, involving, as, as you've pointed out here, the um, OBR and the Chancellor um, coming to terms with the, the market discipline that the, the country has, has received. So we understand that there is a U-turn and we know that the government is now doing something about the markets and the impact we've seen on the pound and on gilts. My question though is, um, will we see that movement we've seen in markets unwind back to where we were before the mini budget? Because it, it seems to me that the UK has drawn attention to itself and it's drawn attention to the fiscal weakness. Well, that's absolutely right. And you know, to some extent that we have seen some recovery uh, in sterling, for example, it's currently sitting just about one 110, 111, 112, that sort of area, where it roughly was before we saw the, uh, the budget. And I, th I think one thing worth bearing in mind about that budget is that a lot of the stuff that they announced on, on the Friday, the 23rd was, of September, was very little more than what they'd already announced. We already knew, for example, about the huge um, um, support packages for energy that they'd announced on the 8th of September. And we already knew that they wanted to um, reverse the national insurance tax rise and also stop corporation tax going up from next year. So that was all known. And when you look at the extras, the bits they added on the top, the cherry on the top, if you will, it wasn't that large. So I think really it was a combination of all the things put together and simply reversing the, the, the higher rate tax, um, um, uh, cut, well, cutting the higher rate of tax is, is not going to be enough to, to play placate markets fully. I think what they'll need to do is to come up with some sort of plan where they are able to show how much revenue that they can raise over the medium term by w whatever means in order to ensure that debt levels are falling as a percent of GDP, which of course was the fiscal target beforehand.